Hey guys, Ham Banana PvP, and we're going to be going over the Samachi and Paladins today and dive into their doctrine setup, veteran sea line, and some tips and tricks to get your yeeting fools of righteous fury in no time. Here with my second guide video in the sunny skies of Brazil, so if you find this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Alright, so this is a doctrine setup for using these guys. Um, just like the Samachi and Stalwarts, there is a couple different ways you can do this. Uh, I go for the uh, Assassination and the Breakthrough. In these two slots, you can also put like a Piercing Defense and a Health. Or you can put like an, another Piercing Damage because they get their own little Piercing Damage Doctrine. Range Damage Mitigation and Block uh, Increase is a must. You definitely want those in their Piercing Damage Doctrine. Uh, but yeah, this is what you're going to want for Doctrine. All right, moving on to the veterancy here. Um, there's a couple different ways you can do this as well. I mean, I think both, both lines are definitely viable. Uh, at the end of the day, I went with the bottom line because it gives you more defense. It gives you uh, some range damage mitigation, which is huge to combo with that doctrine. Just gives you some more like just overall defense in general. Reduces damage taken from rear attacks, which is huge, and then increases defense by 10%. Gives you a little more block, which just on top of the block with their honor nodes that actually work on them. I'll show you those as well. Um, this is just to me, this seems like the more uh, more viable option for me anyways. As usually I do go more offensive, but on these guys, I really want to go defensive because they do get kind of crunched by Maul and stuff like that. So really quickly, I just want to go over some uh, some of the unit traits, um, Samachi and Brotherhood, uh, that, that, that has uh, to do with uh, their slow moving um, combat method that they have. Um, it's kind of it's kind of interesting. In some ways it's good, in some ways it's bad because um, they don't all attack at the same time. So you can use the XV method with them, which I do use. But be weary, I just learned recently that every time you XV them, they drop their block. So that could be a problem for sure. Um, so yeah, we'll go over that in the unit training area. But they also come with a nice shield wall, um, a nice nice block formation that I really like to use for uh, charging and while, while I'm uh, attacking with them. And the heal, which is the biggest deal with them. No other unit in the game has a heal that also heals other units and heroes. So it heals them for 5% of their health as well as their allies around them. And then they also get the regeneration heal that other units get, which is 250 health every one second for 15 seconds. So they're kind of like little mini long swords in a way, and it is why I really like them a lot. Also, one thing you really have to be aware of here is this weak spot trait, which is also why I go for the bottom line. Um, so when they take damage in the back, they, they get hit for 20% more damage in the back, which is a really big deal because people know that. So they're going to exploit that. So by going the bottom line, you reduce that by 10%, so they only take 10% more. It doesn't seem like a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, it really is. Really quickly, before we get into the training area here, I'm just going to show you their honor nodes, which do work on them. So these are the new upgraded version of the men-at-arms, or the old men-at-arms we know. Um, so they get a potential of 10% extra uh, slashing defense and uh, uh, piercing defense. They also get 25% more block, which is huge. Um, and then they also get a little bit a uh, little bit to their critical value that which isn't too too important But you definitely want to at least get the block just because it increased their block by so much They have a lot of there's a lot of block in this unit um, the, So the defense is definitely optional. I'm gonna get it eventually. I'm working on a couple other things like I'm also trying to finish up the spear sergeant so I get my stalwarts at the biggest potential they can So now we're gonna get into the tips and tricks portion of the guide and to start what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the building officer and go to the unit training area, which you can find in your region's main city. All right, start here, guys. We're going to get into the uh, Paladin's regular attack. This is me just hitting V and letting them do what they want. In certain situations on this unit, this is actually better if there's a lot going on, a lot of enemies, because when you XV them, like I said before, they drop their block, which they can take a lot of unnecessary damage. But as you can see, if they, you just hit V with them, uh, the unit takes a while to die, but your unit also doesn't take a lot of damage. So you kind of get to judge for yourself which one you do in certain situations. All right, guys. So right here, we're going to show you the XV attack of these paladins on the same unit in the training area here. So you're just kind of moving forward. XV, XV. You're just resetting their attack. But like I said before, they drop their block. But if you're just attacking units and there's no real heroes in the area that are trying to give you any trouble, it's it's all good. You can still use it. Moving on to the charge here, so uh, as you can see in their shield formation, they are really bunched up, which which for the charge itself, it does more damage, but it is extremely susceptible to hero CC. Um, you know, a maul can just dismount, stun the whole unit, um, you know, short sword, belly flop, anything like that. So uh, the, the way you're going to want to use their charge is what I'm going to show you right here. By charging them when they're in the block formation here, the unit is more spread out. 
and it is less susceptible to Hero CC. It actually takes more damage if you run into any Brace Pikes or anything like that. It does some nice damage, and then actually after the charge lands, you kind of surround the unit. So in a way, it's actually better, and you end up you end up doing more damage. Really quick before we get into some gameplay here, by being a content creator for Conqueror's Blade, you can use my creator code HAMBANANAPVP, all lowercase letters, to get some awesome creator packs where you can get hero skins, unit skins, some other goodies like premium accounts and stuff like that. Uh, down in the video description below, there will be links to all of those packs and directions on how you get them. It supports the channel, supports the game, and it is much appreciated, so thank you very much, guys. Also, another Monday, it brings another giveaway, of course. And so uh, this week, we're going to be doing... Like last week, a $10 Steam gift card to one person, one lucky person in the comments below. Um, and like last week, we are going to keep this uh, similar format where you're going to have to put two codes in the comments below with your original comment. If you want to say something nice about the video, I would really appreciate it. The first comment, uh, the, the first comment uh, code is going to be happy, exclamation point, happy. And somewhere else in the video, there will be the second code that you put in the comments. So make sure you stick around and try to find that code at, at, somewhere, at some point later on in the video. And without further ado, guys, let's get into some gameplay. All right, let's do this. All right, so we're on Valley Fortress attacking him with my lovely spear-wielding goddess, Violet Nyan. And we're just going in. It was a unit of halberds. We took care of those real quick. Did the XV on them. Then we got the charge into these uh, javelins here. Took them out real quick. I mean, as you can see, they do a lot of damage. 42 unit kills in under like 15 seconds. So a continuation of that first clip here. Same map, same everything. We use the situational awareness to get the hell away from these condos charging us in the back. Um, so we just sit here. We're trying to rendezvous, trying to figure out the situation. We said there's a bunch of enemies here on the B point trying to take it. Um, so we go in and we're going to just get in here. We're going to start XV spamming. XV spam and then we get the spear ulti into this pole axe and he goes down. See you later, bud. <laughs> and then we just keep going. XV, XV. Um, the condos are definitely something that you want to fear with this unit. Um, if you do not take control of the situation, condos will stun them to death. Um, at the end of the day, we do end up losing this unit here. But, I mean, we got some good value out of them. We pushed this point here. By the end of this sequence here, we end up getting like 63 troop kills, couple of hero kills. We got some nice value out of these guys. Another one here on Borderfoot defending. We're with the Ico crew. We got my buddy Ray. We got Dos Bull. We got Recon up in here. Uh, we're just trying to push up these stairs to take out these stalwarts sitting here. Um, and we do end up killing all the stalwarts, even though there's a mall here terrorizing the hell out of us. He already stunned the whole unit, like I was saying before. Um, you know, the dismount stuff from the mall. Belly flop, flop from Short Sword is really brutal against these guys. Just They really get CC'd very easily. Um, so we're just trying to just, just trying to really hold it, hold back this push. I know I'm probably going to lose the whole unit here. So, I, yeah, no, I actually do. Um, but, you know, at the end of the uh, sequence here, you know, we're getting down the stairs. We're trying to get the hell away. We're doing a little dancey do. And we get up there and we do end up killing that mall. Another one here, we are on Allenberg defending. Uh, I just hit that longbow with the old lightning bolt. I love that ability. Longbow has been really fun this season. I've had a lot of fun playing it. Um, so we get the flank charge on these shields here. Um, I don't know what they were doing facing that way. A little strange. But we get the flank charge on them. Just start killing all these shields. Th those shields go down. We get this longbow here. He, I don't know what he's doing, but he, he realizes he's in a bad situation. I finish him off. He goes down. And then uh, we're just kind of analyzing the situation, trying to figure out what to do. We have another unit of, uh, of uh, some matching paladins here with a mall. Uh, so we're, we're sitting here we're like, oh, it's a kind of a bad situation. But uh, our, our homies come in. We got the Ico crew here. Emperor Poe comes in with the mall, grabs, scoops him up, and he goes down. Another one here, we got Riverlands defending. I'm actually solo queuing in this one. And I got the pole axe probably because I was just getting bored and my weapon diarrhea kicked in and I wanted to play some pole axe. <laughs> so that's what I do here. I'm charging down the stairs, this Nodachi. There's also a short sword here, so I got a little nervous, but our, our uh, dual blade friend here altered him, and I also hit him with the pole axe ult at the same time, so he goes down. Just XV spamming the rest of this shield wall here. Shield wall goes down. This uh, next little fight here, I probably shouldn't have picked. I mean, I got another 30 unit kills or so here, but um, there was a lot of enemies coming up. But, you know, me being the yeet <laughs> that I am, I just, I was yeeted right in there, and I ended up losing the whole unit. But, I mean, within like, you know, 30 seconds or so, we got you know, a hero kill. Um, you know, we, we really disrupted the situation, disrupted the whole push, and we ended up getting like 72 unit kills, which wasn't too bad. Next one here, we're on Allenberg attacking, solo queuing with the glaive here. We get in on this mall. We take care of him real quick. Um, we get a whole unit of condos, but now they don't have any uh, any controller. So we know that they're okay to go up on. 
Um, we got a spear here. I believe this is actually my buddy Fung Tien. Shout out to Venom Milk. Love you guys. Um, so yeah, we take care of him real quick. And then we're going to move up here. We got a mall. Uh, we got some Kriegs rats. The mall is, uh, he's, he's thinking he's going he's gonna to bone breaker our unit to death. One good thing about this unit, if you get him with the XV on the heroes there, it really does a lot of damage. Take care of units quick. Um, there's another unit of Pike Militia. That dual blade dips out of there. One thing I really love about Glaive is that I can just go into a unit of archers like this and just take them out by myself. Don't even need the unit. Um, Glaive's a really nice weapon. I'm having a lot of fun playing it. So we go down here to the A point because we're trying to take that just to seal this up so we can start the home point push. We got a unit of shields here. I don't know if that, I think that's Iron Cap Spears, um, which uh, you know obviously not as good as the Imperial Spears, but a tanky unit nonetheless. Um, we take care of them really quick. We end up having like 22 units left with 71 unit kills. That's really good for this unit. Another one guys here on Harbor City attacking. Um, we ju had just taken the A point, so we're trying to clean up the rest of these units up here. After you take the A point, it's a really good idea to just really try to land to the enemy so that they can't retreat to supply point. We get a hero kill there. XB spamming, and uh, I think we get like, you know, 40, 50 unit kills here in a second. And then, of course, the friendly Treb comes in and completely ruins my clip. But it's okay, we're used to it. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know from uh, watching some of my other videos, this happens quite often. Guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun making this video. Um, and right here, I'm going to give you the second code for the giveaway, which is going to be holidays, because I wish you guys a happy holidays. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I encourage you all to join my Discord. A link will be down below in the video description. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. We're going to be making a hell of a lot more of these in the future. Thank you, people. I love you. Have a good one.